Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back. I'm Aletta and today you can see it is raining. Usually I would time travel so it wasn't, but I thought this would be perfect because I thought that today we could make our hybrid garden. I'm going to try and get all the hybrid flowers organically again like we did on the 30 day island in February. But yeah, I started clearing up an area up here. I started knocking down the trees. We're on top of a cliff kind of by our community garden down here. Oh, there's Adi. And this one we did randomly get a lily, so I might put that on display up there. I don't know. But I did prepare for this. I have five, at least five of each flower, except orange windflowers. We need five of those still, but that's okay. We'll get that eventually. I also got the hedge recipe from Leaf when I went to go check if he had any orange windflowers. So I made a couple hedges and also some barbed wire fencing. Hi, Abby. I'm gonna say hi to her. Good morning, Foxtrot. Let's talk. I was like way into this walk, but then it started to get boring. Then I found you. And it's Fab again. Yeah, I thought we would start up here. We definitely need to open up the Island Designer app so that we can know exactly where we place the seeds because hybrid flowers are very precise. Gotta be really careful with them. I also made these little signs to help because I'm a visual person so if I can't see what I'm doing it gets confusing so we're gonna use these on the little paintings on display here painting so that's gonna make it a lot easier but yeah so for mums we need to place the red and white ones and the yellow ones so yeah let's dig up these stumps get these out of the way Okay, I guess we'll start with mums, which is kind of funny since that's our island flower up here. And then I'm going to get out the regular dirt, I guess here, right? Red and white equals pink. So we'll do, we'll do white and white. And then red up here, so that will hopefully make pink. And then red and yellow can make the special yellow. Yeah, so then white and white equals purple, red and white equals pink, and then red and yellow equals yellow. So I think this is good. We'll just leave it as a little patch here. Try to save some space. And then, oh, I guess this should be one more back. And then we'll use the barbed wire because you can see through it easier. Okay, good. We got the mums ready and see they're watered. So that's perfect. All our crops are being watered today as well. Alright, what are we gonna do next? I guess we could do Cosmos, maybe? And then once we get orange, we'll put an orange here and another orange here. So I'm actually gonna make those dark dirt so I know that's for the colored ones. Perfect. I'm looking at like a little guide. I'll put the two I use in the description. I don't know if I'll follow it exactly. Okay, let's do pansies. Because those only need four spots as well. Okay, let's... Where's our lilies? Here they are. Pansies. Okay, that one's gonna need this many. Red, yellow, and then we're gonna need blue and red for red. Oh wait, maybe, yeah, maybe I should have did this differently then. Okay, and then these ones are gonna be the red ones we get from red and blue, and one of these will also be blue, so this one right here will be blue because this one's red, so red and blue will hopefully make the red ones. There we go. I'm gonna have to pick these mums up. Yeah, we might have to extend our garden up to another cliff, I think. We can maybe do one more down here. Okay, any other smallish ones we could do? So we got lilies, pansies, cosmos, and mums. Um, let's do windflowers then. And then we'll have to move up on the other cliff. Oh boy, this one needs two. And then blue plus blue equals red and pink. And then the red and red equals purple, but we'll get to that later. Okay. We don't have all these, so it's good it's in the front. In the guide I, I'm using, it doesn't say to use orange, but we'll still plant orange ones when we get them. And then this one would be blue, and then they want me to do blue here and here. Oh, red plus white equals pink. Did I do that wrong? Oh well. I think we'll leave it like that. Okay, we're back. As you can see, I got stung by wasps. I actually passed out because there was two up there on the cliff. I was gonna take my net out, but I dropped it somewhere, so I don't even have it on me. But I did make some medicine. Where'd it go? That's funding in. <laughs> so there we go. All better. 
And I made a little spot for the tulip. So let's see, we're gonna do white, yellow, and red. Where do we got those? Right here. We need two reds here. And then on the guide, this top spot right here is blank, but I'm going to put a white one because red and white can make pink. So then we have two spots with red and white next to each other. And then these dark dirt ones will be the orange ones that pop up. And then I made another standing ladder. I'll just make it a little bit easier to get up here. And we still have roses, hyacinths, and windflowers, I think, left. Or did we do windflowers already? Wait, I gotta go check. Ah. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, we did windflowers. Okay. So just hyacinths and roses left. So let's do hyacinths up over here. I need room for a fence, so we'll do it here. And then these two will be orange. And we can add blue later if we want to make more purple. Perfect. It's not the prettiest, but it's functional. Alright, and then the roses. Hmm. I guess right behind it, so I'll knock this one down. And thank goodness there wasn't a wasp in there. Okay, roses need the most space for sure. So that's why we saved it for last. We got two of those. Like the wind flowers. Actually gonna have to move this back. Alright. And then I need the dark dirt for the red. And this one's going to be for orange. And this one's gonna be for black. Alright. And then the other ones will be for hybrids. So now we just have to put the fences and then we're good. Yeah, I'm so excited to have a little hybrid garden. I want to make another DIY bench to put over here. So that's hardwood and iron. Alright, there we go. We got another workbench to put up on the cliff so that we can customize our watering cans and such so they break less. I'm gonna put that up here, I think, on this level. And I suppose I'll leave this here as well. Nah, I'm gonna carry it in my pockets. What do we do with the rest of the flowers now? I have so many. <laughs> so many. <laughs> what do y'all do with your extra flower seeds? Okay, I'm gonna go to tomorrow so we can see the hybrids growing and we'll water them really quick. Alright y'all, it is the next day. It is a beautiful sunny day, but first things first, we finally have another campsite villager, so we're gonna head over there now. Oh, I also have to water our crops over here. But we'll do that, we'll do that later. <gasps> we're in our sugar cane and then potato- no. No, no distractions. Should probably make a ladder for right here as well. Ah! <laughs> okay, sorry, I'll make that quieter. But um, why is there a purple mom right here? Hello. That is so funny. What? I say this counts. This counts. I didn't. I did it myself on my own island. Oh my gosh, y'all, we we did it. We have completed the hybrid garden. No, but um, that that's hilarious. I'm gonna move those over by the mums in a minute here, but let's go see who is at our campsite. I hope it's someone good. <gasps> Fang? Oh my gosh, wait, I think they're cranky too. Yes. I think you should live here and I could be wrong, but I think if I build a starter kit, we don't have to ask any of our other villagers to leave since we still need two more. You know, sometimes you just feel home in a place, but I'm feeling like that right now. I fit right in with the folks on this island. It makes me want to call this place home. Cha-chomp. Welcome home, then. Huh? Me? Well, thanks, but uh, I got too many loose ends to tie up. No, you want to move here. You do, you do. Oh my gosh, then we'd have two wolves and two squirrels. To be fair, there is a lot of those villagers. Okay, if I go put up a, a plot outside, will he finally say yes? He hasn't said yes for like five minutes. Which doesn't seem like a long time, but it's a long- He said no like ten times, so. Hello? Oh yes, I was able to upgrade the house. Okay, well I, I would like to build a plot, please. <gasps> oh, garbage can. Place an order. Oh my gosh, we can actually afford the mini car too? Should we get that? I kind of want to. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, carnations. Alright, so, so, so far I've gotten two DIYs for these fences. And we got the stone path and the custom design path. And now I think I'm just going to get the wooden one. And then I'll come back and get the other ones if I need them. Alright, awesome. Just have a couple left now. 
Let's go place down the house that will hopefully be Fang's. I think we should put Fang close to our new hybrid garden. Maybe he can be like our gardener. If we put him up here, I'll feel like we'll need to make an incline. Which wouldn't be so bad because we can always demolish it, you know. We do have like a perfect spot back here. I think that would be good. Let me imagine it. Or even closer to the water, maybe? Oh my gosh, yes, that fits perfect. Can always move it. Does not have to be permanent. All right, let's go see if Fang will move in now, hopefully. I'm gonna wanna make an incline now, so we're gonna have to make some more bells. I just literally just spent all of them. Hello. Ooh, I want some coffee. I had a dream last night, I moved to this island, and you and I were hanging out just like this. It was so real. What do you think it means? Cha chom. You're moving here. Huh? Me? Move to this island? Well, thanks, but sorry. I've got too many loose ends to tie up. No, you want to move here. I can tell. Okay, let's make it interesting. We'll play a game, and if you win, consider me a new resident, okay? You're on. I'm gonna guess heart again. No! Not gonna lie, I'm a bit disappointed. Don't worry. I'll keep asking you. Because you should. Alright, you wore me down. I'm moving in! Or, that is, just as soon as I get the okay from resident services. Oh my gosh, yes! So here's a lowdown, kiddo. I talked to your resident services folks about moving in, and I can do it! So write it down in, in permanent ink. I'm officially a resident of Fun Lake. You're just screaming in my face. Guess you'll be seeing a whole lot more of me. <laughs> this is perfect. We needed a cranky villager, and I feel like they'll be great next to the flowers. Uh, I love it. And now we have two wolves. Which, Audie looks more like a fox. There's her house right there. But, um, yeah. We have two wolves, two squirrels. I'm gonna move this little purple mum. I wonder if we have any others. Alright, here we go. We can water these. Got our roses back here. There we go. Our roses in Hyson's are watered. There's our Cosmos. Hey, it's a letter. Who is this? Oh! It's Freya! Hi! Or, not Freya, <laughs> it's Avi. <laughs> Grr, I got a stain in my fave outfit! Aletta, what are you doing? Things are just the worst. Well, this is what I do. <laughs> I thought she was mad at me for a second. Any of you using aggravation can definitely make you feel better. See? That's all good now. Foxtrot. Yeah, she definitely looks like a fox. Okay. Avi, we are going to have a wolf here, so we'll have a wolf and a fox. Oh yeah, we gotta make sure that it says sold up there too. Okay, we got our pansies watered. Gotta do the wind flowers. Do -do -do -do. I think they'll be blooming tomorrow, so we'll come take a look at them so y'all can see what it looks like with all the colors. I think that'll make it easier. Oh yes, and here is our mums. Okay, so I already need to extend right here because white plus purple equals purple. Okay, that's not one of the ones that will make green. We can still place it so that it will duplicate itself. So I'll make a little spot for that. All right, where do we want to put those? I guess just right here, right? Our little extra spot. That's fine for now. All right, I'm gonna water our crops and check the store and I will check back in if there's anything cool happening. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Y'all, it's the next day and we got a rainbow umbrella. We're gonna put that outside since it's June, hee <laughs> hee. No orange windflowers though, unfortunately. Ooh, also I dug up our first gyroid that we got on the one boat tour we went on. And it's a squeezoid, so I thought we'd put him by our first hybrid, which is the yellow, not yellow, orange lily that I picked up. Ooh, and our produce is grown in, but I'm trying to wait for it all to be synced up because I planted a couple more pumpkins so I'm gonna wait but next time I definitely want to make sure we have an incline so Fang can get down if he wants to. I know there's a ladder but I don't think they use those. I thought these would be grown in by now but they're not so we'll have to go to tomorrow as well. Maybe I'll see if I can get enough money for an incline then. Maybe I will. I will sell the produce. I don't know. Okay, this is not where you need to be, money tree. 
Look at Fang's house. It's so pretty. I want to say hi. I love the vibe in here. Can't wait to see your furniture. Howdy. Welcome to I Know New Abode. Eh, apologies for the mess. I tell you to make yourself at home, but it looks like my home was hit by a moving truck. Haha. <laughs> Not to worry. I'll get her straightened up in no time. To chomp. Oh my gosh. No, you, you got this, Fang. Don't worry about it. Oh my gosh, yes! I'm actually so happy. Okay, I'm gonna customize the watering can. I'm afraid it's gonna break on us. Oh, we can customize the squeezer too. Mm. Nah, we'll keep it its OG color. Okay. Gonna water these. Oh yeah, if I assess a bunch of fossils, we'll definitely get some spells for that. I have a little pile, and I've been trying to do the money tree every day too. We're gonna plant that one we picked up over here. There we go. Check for the money rock. Ooh, money tree, yes. I think we only need like 68 or 98,000 for the natural incline. Oh, so yeah, Sahara's here. I don't know if I'll talk to her. Oh, if you're getting gyroids, wash up on the beach now. Where is the last rock? Okay, I found money rock finally. And we got lots and lots and lots of fossils to assess. Yeah, I think we'll be good for a, a natural incline. Oh my gosh, I always feel so bad going in there and having him assess the fossils without donating any. Oh, this is that little guy, right? Yeah, we might keep that one. Ooh, I don't know which one we have, but we're gonna keep that megalo one. I'm gonna sell the rest of them though. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me a moment to run the numbers. All done. I could buy these from you for a total of 42,000. Ooh. All right, all right. Just 7,000 per 98, but it might be cheaper than that. So I'm gonna check first. Oh, it is 98,000. Okay, I'll go sell that produce then. We'll let them sync up next time then. All right, time to sell. All right. Definitely have enough now. Okay, let's go place the incline since we have enough bells now. I don't want to put it at the bottom where we have the first ladder over here because then we'll water and then we'll come right here. Let's go through the very straight edge. Could do it there or even closer to his house over here. I think right here would be good though. And then we can build it into the wall, or we can even do it sideways. Hmm, let's see what it looks like here. Yeah, I think that'll work, especially if we do some hardscaping. And blend it in more to the cliffs. Alright, Lloyd, we're gonna pay this off, so it's here tomorrow. Perfect. Okay, when we still have 26,000, should I go get stuff from Sahara? Sahara! I'm gonna give you all my bells, basically. I definitely want the rugs. Ah, my favorite size. I will accept the money payment. Alright, before we go to tomorrow, I'm gonna go to the house and see what Sahara has gotten us. We have everything now. We'll go to the back room that I was able to get. I haven't been in here yet. Perfect. A blank slate. We'll do it this way. Okay, so we got a mud mat. That's pretty good. One of these that looks like a towel. And then two... Oh of these. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, what wallpaper and flooring do we get? The racetrack? Oh. Bank vault. Okay. Rice patty wall. Oh, that one's cute. Okay. And wildflower metal floor. Okay, these two were worth it. Um, I don't really particularly like the rest of it. Oh yeah, before we go to tomorrow as well, I did want to place this rainbow umbrella out. So cute. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I know we won't have any hybrids yet probably, but we have our incline and we can see all of them here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the fencing is a bit chaotic, but I think it works. Oh my gosh, we actually do have one. Orange Cosmos, of course. So we'll put you right here, Orange Cosmos. I can't believe it. That is so funny. Ah, uh, yes, look at Fang enjoying his, his house. Hello, welcome! Oh, hey, it's you. Let's talk. 
days when the weather is nice make my bones ache a little bit less. Agreed, agreed. Alright, and then we do have our little ladder up here. Perfect. Don't worry, I will water all of these. Oh my gosh. Okay, so today we got our little garden ready for hybrids. We already got our first, so I'd say success so far. And then we got an amazing campsite villager again. Bang! Welcome to welcome to the island. I'm actually so happy. Now all we need is a sisterly villager for all the villager types. And yeah, very, very exciting. I think we'll probably do a build for Fang's house next or even the campsite would be good. I do want to start doing builds. I miss doing them, but yeah, I hope that y'all liked this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Hello, everybody. Everyone is out and about.